Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I have a little bit more of a fall look. I used some of my Makeup Geek eyeshadows and created a really nice, I would say like reddish, warm, burgundy, smoky brown eye look. This is what I tend to go for um, in the fall. I love that. You could always brighten it up, add a little pop of color in the center with like Max Tan Pigment or L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow and Amber Rush. That would add like a really nice rose gold pop in the center of the lid. But I just paired this with a really simple, um, almost like really neutral matte-ish mauve lip. I love the way that this all pairs together. Okay. Expect more tutorials. If you guys have requests for different fall looks you'd like to see, please leave those below. And if you're interested in seeing how I achieve this look, then go ahead and keep watching. First I'm going to start out by priming my eyes with this Bare Minerals Soft Linen BB Eyeshadow. Then I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek and Peach Smoothie on this Sephora Tapered Crease Brush. I love the Sephora brushes. So I'm just kind of going to run that through my crease and then drag it down a little bit on my lid. You don't have to be very precise. This is just a really great transition shade. So I'm just kind of putting it all through the crease and then dragging it down on the lid. And then I'm pulling it out a little bit more like a cat eye towards the tip tail end of my eyebrow. Then I'm putting a little bit more of the creme brulee on the tip and going in to be a little bit more precise in the crease. Next I'm going to go in with the color Frappe which is a little bit deeper than the two that we used and it's just a beautiful matte shade. I love it and it really warms up the look. I'm using a Julep blending brush and I'm blending this all through the crease and then onto the lid. This is just going to create a really great base and that is Taylor Swift's new song that I was jamming out to. And then I'm going to go in with brown sugar. I love this color. It is I would say like a satin almost burgundy rusty color it, it has more of like a burgundy tone to it I love this shade and I don't hear a lot of people talk about this shade from Makeup Geek so I'm putting that all over the lid and then I'm taking that blending brush the julep one with a little bit of the frappe that was still on it and blending it all out for my highlight I'm taking vanilla bean which is like a matte cream shade from Makeup Geek and I'm just going to place that on my brow bone and blend it out. This brush kind of blended away the transition shade a little bit so I went back in with that julep brush and just kind of put it, laid it back down and blended all those colors together again. For a little bit of a shimmer highlight I used this um, color called Shimmer Shimmer and it's a beautiful highlight but it's very strong so I had to make sure to really blend it out and then I went back and retouched with that brown sugar color from Makeup Geek. For my lash line, my upper lash line, I'm using the color Urban from Urban Decay called Bourbon. It's a beautiful, I would say, rich burgundy shade. And then I'm going in with this Cocoa Bear color from Makeup Geek. This is a rich brown color, but I wanted it to be a little bit more burgundy, so I went in with Bitten. And I'm using this on a very detailed number five brush from Wayne Goss. I love this brush. And I'm just kind of making that cat eye shape and then blending it all out again with that original blending brush from Julep. And just really softening those lines. For my under eyes, I'm touching up and making sure it's nice and clean under my eyes. And I'm using this No Dark Shadows Complexion Enhancer. This is a really nice thin consistency but still lots of coverage. You can find this at Sephora so I just went ahead and patted that under my eyes. I want to make sure when I'm using these dark shadows that I really get a nice bright under eye. So I'm going in with this ambient light powder from Hourglass and Diffuse Light and just setting that all. For my contour I'm using Benefit's Hula Bronzer. And I'm going to blend that all out with Benefit's Dallas and this large duo fiber brush from Sedona Lace. So I'm just kind of blending that all out and using that as my blush bronzer. And then I'm going back in with that bourbon eyeliner and cleaning up with this E15 brush from Sigma. And then I'm going to place the brown sugar color just to set that eyeliner. And then I'm going to blend out that eyeliner and diffuse it a little bit with the creme brulee color and just kind of soften that line on the bottom. Go in with your favorite mascaras. I'm using these two in combination. I love the L'Oreal one for my top lashes and the MAC one for my bottom. This is the Bite Beauty Matte Lip Crayon in Glace or Glace. I love this neutral lip, but just to pink it up a little bit, I'm using this Urban Decay Native shade. So that is the first lip combination.
Second lip combination, I'm going to use this No Bleeding Lips. This is an anti-feathering lip liner. If you don't want to alter the color of your lip liner, but you still want, are using a dark color and you need that barrier so that your lipstick doesn't feather, this is a perfect product. It can also be found at Sephora. So I'm going in with this Milani Color Statement Lipstick in Uptown Mauve. I love this color. It's beautiful for the fall. So that is the second lip combo. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this, seeing some of my favorite Makeup Geek eyeshadows in use. Every time I pull out my Makeup Geek eyeshadows, I tend to go for this really um, reddish toned eye. I feel like the pigmentation in the Makeup Geek shadows just really allows for that because they're so richly pigmented and they blend so well. So I'm going for that really nice, warm, smoky eye. This just really always works. I love that brown sugar color. I love the way that this particular lip pairs with it. I do like the dark darker lip but with, then I wanted to show this a little bit deeper nude. That Bite Beauty Matte Lip Pencil or Crayon is amazing, super rich and pigmented and I do love this like Kylie Jenner inspired color. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.